LAPD! Good Sonic, Bad Sonic, we're making both. Along this magical journey, we'll be learning about good character design, stupid character design, and how not to bankrupt an entire studio because some corporate morons thought this was a good idea. Also, I had some friends at that studio who are now unemployed, so f you. Start with Good Sonic, make a sphere. Use clay buildup, block out the head shape before you start the details. Use the move tool to puff out cheeks, round them out. Yeah, super cute. Eyes are the most important part on a cartoon character. Gotta be big and expressive. Gotta be huge. The last thing you want are realistic, beady looking eyes. Now that you finished your realistic, beady looking eyes, let's add a human mouth filled with giant horse teeth. Cause animals with human body parts is guaranteed success at the box office. Invert clay buildup, dig out a mouth, add tiny squares, trim brush them into teeth, duplicate, you want lots, like a hundred. Move brush into a creepy ass smile, perfect. Yeesh, this is way too much teeth, so add 30 more rows. Make a body, blob it up, move brush, pull, pull, pull. Inflate the ends a bit and call it a day. Cartoon characters usually have simple limbs. Next up, points of power. What are points of power, you ask? Simple, they're points on a character that are powerful. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Good design means you can look at a character for two seconds and know what their deal is. Exaggerating certain parts like weapons or clothing are called points of power. Quiz time, figure out the characteristics and points of power. Okay, go. Hammer tanky, knifey sneaky, punchy badass, pickaxe, uh, buildy? So, what part should be exaggerated on a character who runs really fast? <gasps> Super muscular thighs and shoulders, of course. No, just no. It's hands and feet. It, it was always hands and feet. So make some feet, trim brush, move brush, duplicate, chop the top, scale it up to make the shoe bottom, nice. For the strap, mask out, extract and blam. Made a pair of shoes in 10 seconds flat. Suck on that, child labor, sweatshops. Cartoon hands are easy. Mask out circles, pull them out, inflate brush them until they look like big old sausages. Now scale them up because these are points of power and it would completely destroy the character if you made these hands small and tiny. And that's how you make the hands small and tiny. Man, this sucks. Oh yeah, don't forget to give him the skin of a 92 year old chain smoking fisherman. Inflate and pinch to really dial up the arthritis. Ow! My bones are so brittle, but I always drink plenty of... Malk? Now beef up those arms, cause dude Sonic is like fast and stuff, so he gotta roid up and be all jacked as fuck. Clay build up his thighs, make it extra ropey and thick. For an extra touch of roid, use some damn standard to add some ripply veins. Nice! These are some Lance Armstrong quality roid legs. The shoes are iconic, so you gotta make them tiny, so you can't even see them. Then completely replace them with your crappy product placement. Cause when you think of Sonic, you automatically think Puma shoes. Ugh, god damn that hurt my brain. But now you know how to make good Sonic and Crimes Against Humanity Sonic. Uh, we skipped the painting process because they managed to get that somewhat right, so I didn't have any jokes for it. Also, I want to keep this video short because I just became a dad and it's sucking all the life out of me. But enough about my crippling sleep deprivation, let's animate. Okay, we're remaking this old Sonic level, so we need some grassy blocks. Step. To make a grassy block, start with a block. Use the insert edge tool to insert an edge around each edge. This is the first rule to hard surface modeling. And the second rule of hard surface modeling is, well, well, I'm not supposed to talk about it. Anyways, beveled edges always look better than non-beveled. Look at these sexy ass crevices. Mm. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. Use the rock method from my Gravity Falls video to make these sweet blocks into sweet rocks. Blam! Build the whole scene with these two blocks because people think it's a nod to old school pixel graphics but secretly it's because I don't want to model any more stuff because I'm on like three hours of sleep because a certain baby crapped his pants like eight times last night. Make some grass, generate, get brush, grass folder, choose whatever. Then make the cube paintable and then shoop shoop. Crank it up and make everything grass. Nice. All this grass crashed my computer. Sweet. Background time, we want this loop. Grab a cube, cut it and pull. Cut, pull, cut, pull, 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 cut. Make sure to get those sexy bevels in. Then drop a million of your rock blocks. Don't worry if they don't stack up perfectly. Then grab a picture from a Sonic game. Throw it on a plane. Scale it up. Don't worry if the resolution sucks. Finally, throw in some block mountains. Duplicate it a bunch of times and don't worry if it looks repetitive. Why shouldn't we worry about all this stuff? Because of this. Wait, wait, uh, there we go. Because of this, tip the field makes anything look better. Don't believe me? Look at this garbage. Blam, now it's art. You throw this up on your gram, guaranteed 10,000 likes and a fat loss protein shake sponsorship deal. Bet on that. Yep, with enough depth of field, I can hide all my crappy models. See, you can't even tell how crap they are. So we got a background, a foreground, time for animation. Okay, go.
Now the files are ready for printing. Want to download the files for free? Website. Want to learn more? Patreon. Or check out my other tutorial videos. Or not. It's a free country. <laughs>